right guys, for a while now, I've been on eight pounds because I had an eBay 10 pound spring in and it was weak. So it actually only runs about eight pounds. And uh, the reason for that was because my clutch slipped anything above that, but I made a connection. Um, I did some stop leak in the transmission and the input shaft seal actually stopped leaking. So that's not leaking on the clutch anymore. And I realized that my dust shield for my clutch where it bolts to the bell housing in between the oil pan and the bell housing was missing. It either fell off or I forgot to put it back on last time I had the training off. So that means water from how wet it's been in the inland northwest lately. Water has been spraying up on the flywheel and clutch which also could cause some slipping. So what I did was I installed my tile 12 pound spring and I'm going to go take a little blast here. And uh That'll make it to where it's a lot easier to ascertain whether or not the clutch was slipping because of those two factors I previously mentioned that I figured it was. Or if it's actually because I've gone beyond the loading capabilities of the clutch. Because if I'm over the torque limit, that will cause slipping. But I'm pretty sure that on just like 10 or 12 pounds, I shouldn't be over 380 crank torque unless I'm making more power than I think I am. So, um, we're gonna see. Gotta let it warm up for a minute, but. I'm gonna just, not gonna beat on it because this is the car that I'm driving every day until I get the swap done with the 626. So at this point today, it's just about seeing if the clutch is slipping because it's beyond its load rating or it's worn out, or if it's something else like the input shaft seal leaking in, in water like I think it was. So bear with me, this is gonna be a little bit of a long video because I gotta let the oil temps come up. The car was dead cold when I started it. Side note, my wastegate might explode because it's an eBay wastegate and four out of six of the bolts that hold the top hat on the wastegate that hold the spring in place are stripped. So it's only got two on there right now. And they're very small bolts. <laughs> so I'm not really sure how this is gonna go. But we will see here after I warm up a little bit. kind of aimlessly driving around at this point. Side note, I'm going to get a muffler put on the probe here soon so that you can actually hear the wastegate better, but I've got the window cracked so you should be able to hear it slightly. some exhaust leaks the car is really rich I dropped the fuel pressure as much as I could so it might be a little lean on 12 pounds but I don't think so I've had over fueling issues lately so I'm kind of doubting it actually I'm thinking that I'm probably actually going to still have a rich condition either that or the exhaust leak is causing the O2 sensor to read well no because it would read leaner and it's still dead rich so I'm guessing that I, I do have an overfueling condition. Ooh, caliber SRT4. Old ass man driving it, but can't win them all. So, let these oil temps come up. I run uh, 15W50 Mobile One synthetic. So I've got to give it a minute to warm up. Coolant temps are up, but the uh, oil temps are not quite there yet. Plus, I want to be heading back toward my house so that if it breaks, I can coast my ass there. So yeah, sorry there's not a whole lot going on in this video. Sorry 
about the camera angle being the same as usual. I do plan to get a GoPro here with my next check, so that is a plus. I'll be able to do some GoPro videos again, change up angles and whatnot, get some outside view. Might give it a little blast right here. Just a small second here. That went right to 16 pounds. I didn't get a chance to see what the wide band was doing because I had to let out, but that was definitely a little bit faster than I was planning on, or a little bit more boost than I was planning on running. But you can see the difference in second gear right there from when I roll on at eight pounds. Definitely a whole lot different. breaking loose right there that wasn't clutch that was all tires it left smoke behind me and it wasn't oil smoke so yeah that'll conclude today's video because i gotta figure out my problem i'm probably just gonna order a new wastegate tonight 